Before we start today's video, I just want to say make sure you guys follow my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming daily types of content, so make sure you guys check that out. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Yo, what's up everyone? Kevin to be here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you guys the full Ronkar slash hollow progression. But before we start with today's video, I just want to say make sure you guys hit the like button and comment down below. Also, make sure you guys hit the follow button because only 2% of you guys are following. Anyways, let's get on to the guy. First things first is basically how to actually become a hollow. This one's actually the easiest one to, to do out of all the three factions. Uh, to become a hollow, all you gotta do is become a human. After that, have someone kill you, become a lost soul, and press Control K. Alright, so whenever you spawn in to the game, you're gonna be as a fishbone. Whenever you're a fishbone, what you wanna do is you wanna kill Ajishas. I recommend having a friend helping you kill Ajishas. And uh, you'll notice that your eyes are yellow. Whenever you kill Ajisha, you'll notice your eyes change. And whenever your eyes are red, that means you're gonna be close to becoming a Menos. Menos is basically the next step to becoming a Rockar. Uh, basically what you want to do is whenever you become a Menos, you want to go to the Menos pit. And after you're in the Menos pit, you just want to kill Menos's uh, until you become an Ajisha. Alright, so whenever you're Ajisha, to become an Arakar, after that's literally it. After you're, you become an Ajisha, just press Ctrl K, rip off that max, and become an Arakar. And if you're an Arakar, you start at grade 5. Okay, so basically how you become a vessel loader in this game is basically whenever you're an Ajisha, what you want to do is to get 50 mass cracks. How to get 50 mass cracks is to kill other Ajisha NPCs. Or you can kill Ajisha players uh, that have mass cracks. What I want to say is that you can lose these mass cracks, so that's why farming for Vassaloda is really hard. Because number one, uh, toxic toxic people will try to kill you, and yeah. So whenever you get 50 cracks, you'll become an albino Ajisha. What you want to do is you want to kill another albino Ajisha, so you have to find another person who farmed 50 mass cracks, and then you have to 1v1 them without any help and kill them. After you kill them, what you want to do is you want to find the Vessel Lorde boss, kill the Vessel Lorde boss, and that's how you become a Vessel Lorde. Buffs for Vessel Lorde is you get a better Cero, no flash step cooldown, and buffed and once. How to become a Vessel Car? Well, to become a Vessel Car, what you want to do is you want to press Ctrl K as a Vessel Lorde. And that's basically the first method of getting Vessel Car. Second method of getting Vessel Car is to become an Aran Car and get 10 Hugoku fragments from defending grades. The buffs for Vessel Car is a better Cero. You can use two red pills, which is basically the five extra stat points, and you get higher stat increase. Also, whenever you're a Vestal Car, you start at grade three. Uh, so around the map of the Hikomuno, there are going to be mission boards around. Let me see if I can find one real quick. So basically, to uh, have a mission, what you want to do is create a party. There's a mission, and that's basically the missions right there. Next thing is the grading system. As I said, whenever you're a Ron Car, you start at grade five, and you just go up from there. And if you're a Vestal Car, you start at grade three, and you go up from there. Also, if you can see on the top, you have a can rank, and that basically means that uh, you can rank. And if you notice that you're not able to rank, there's also an NPC to check what you need to do to rank up. So let's go there real quick. So basically, what you're in, once you're in KT town, you want to go to the city, and you want to go to the hospital, and inside there's going to be an NPC to tell you uh, what you need to do to rank up. Alright, so this is basically where the hospital is, and whenever you're in the hospital, what you want to do is you want to pay 1k con to this NPC right here. And that's basically how to check your uh, thing right there. Yeah, the more experience, you like Shinigami, Quincy kills, or strengthen yourself and secure kills with an array. Now I'm going to talk about what basically the best weapon is and how to change your weapons basically as an Aran car. My opinion, and really what everyone's opinion is, is that the best sword as an Aran car is the sword that I have, and it's the Yuki Ura sword. Mainly because of how nice the uh, alt, the um, crit is, and like. A range crit and it's really nice so basically how to change your weapon is from a hollow box you can get that from raids or kt shop all right next thing we're talking about is going to be how to get your partial res basically how to get your partial res is you want to find the horrible npc which i'm going to show you guys the location real quick what i recommend is going to be uh server hopping in the castle basically uh she spawns over there over there she spawns in this room i don't know if she spawns in this room but she might and then she spawns under both staircases and then she also spawns upstairs in the two acid rooms basically what you want to do is you want to talk to the horrible npc and that's basically how you start the partial res quest i guess this is basically what she looks like and that's basically the first thing that's basically the first method on how to find her basically what you could do is you could go to the hugo mundo discord go to the horrible npc spawns and basically uh people are paying here to look for the horrible npc spawns or you could just someone people just tell you where the flat out where they are and uh, this is basically also a nice place to basically go to for raids things like that so whenever you find the horrible npc that's whenever you're able to get your item and 
And whenever you get your item, what you want to do is get the item. And this is basically what it looks like. You want to talk to this thing right here. And after that, you want to walk to the void. After you go to the void, that's whenever you start your partial res obby. What I recommend for the last jump on the obby is to basically do this motion like this. And then after that, you just jump. If you die whenever you do your obby, to do it again, what you want to do is you want to kill another person from a different faction. Talk to the pink item again and do the obby over and over again. Okay, next we're going to talk about is raiding. Basically, as in a rocker, what you want to do is you want to raid in the Quincy world with basically Wayndrick. And go live, boys. To get to Wayndrick, you can either go to the KT town, there's a portal there, or you can just IX a um, Quincy and they can just teleport you there. The best way to raid as in a rocker is to go to the Hugo Mundo uh, Discord and go to Wandon Raids. Basically, this is where people tell you uh, what's a raid, basically. They just tell you servers and you just join from there. Alright, now we're going to talk about the best services to wear as a Narakar. First thing you want to wear is the cat ears. This is obtained by KT Shop and doing raids. This gives 5% defense and 15 health. Next thing you want to wear is the Baragon Robe. This gives 5% defense and 20 Riyatsu. Then of course you have the pants that drops from the Soul Society boss, the Shura Pants. And that gives 5% meter drain and 5 health. Also I do want to add is there's a thing called Hero Plating which gives extra defense. Uh, as in Arankar, you, uh, it's basically in your Keto, which is basically right here, it's at 0 Keto, and it gives you gain steel-like skin, granting damage reduction for a set amount of hits. It's best you to activate. You can also buy more plating, which you can get that from the shop, raids, or snake boss. You can buy two max. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is how to get your full res. To get your full res, stage 1. 175 raids or 200 rank elo for 10 hours. Stage 2, 3 to 5 bow snakes, 150 to 180 hollows, 40 elite grade grips. For the 40 elite grade grips, I recommend asking your friend for you to let them grip them 40 times. Stage 3, basically for stage 3, what you want to do is you want to meditate in the mental pit for 10 minutes, and after that, you'll be introduced to a maze, and basically, you're going to play a hollow RNG game. And that's basically how you get your full rest. I'm gonna show you guys where the uh, Menos Pit is real quick. Alright, so basically where the Menos Pit is, is from the castle, what you want to go is to the Coliseum. It's going to be sort of to the right, it's like around right there. Basically, this Menos Pit is where Menos is spawn. So whenever you start the game and you become a Menos, that's where you want to go to, to farm other Menoses. And uh, it's also for that stage 3, on whenever you want to meditate, meditate for 10 minutes, and then do the RNG game for your full resurrection. Alright, so this is basically where the mental speed is. It's gonna be right here. And basically, you just hop in. I right, just jump in. And boom, you're taking to the mental speed. Already three minutes is here. Alright, last thing I wanna talk about is if you want to change your res or your partial res, there's something called the Hollow's Essence that's basically a drop. And that basically uh, lets you change your res and your partial res. Anyways, hope this helped you guys a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.